we also need to work with a diverging lens. Now, a diverging lens, as we've identified, is a lens version of a convex mirror. So let's review some things about convex mirrors that'll help us make con our diverging lenses. So here we have our example with a diverging lens. There were three things that were always true of diverging, the image characteristics of diverging lenses. James, what are those three image characteristics? Always true. The image is always James, you're slowing us down. I gotta, we got, we have like 13 minutes left. Um, is always virtual true? Right. Upright and? Good, Vir always virtual, upright and reduced. Yesterday, not only did I get to go to the dentist, I also got to the, go to the emergency room. It was a wonderful day. My daughter has an ear infection. We spent three hours in the emergency room. I do recommend Mott's Children's Hospital. They have a new emergency room. It's very nice. We know the image is always virtual, upright, and reduced. There is one other thing that is always true of convex mirrors, and therefore always true of diverging lenses. One other thing. Uh, right. The focal point is always less than zero. The focal length is always less than zero. We always have a negative focal length. Go, let's go through a specific example for a diverging lens. For a diverging lens, this particular case, we're going to have a focal length of negative 2.0 centimeters. The object distance is going to be 3.0 centimeters, and the object height is going to be 1.5 centimeters. Again, we're looking for the image distance, the magnification, and the three image characteristics, which we actually already know. Again, the math is exactly the same. One over the image, uh, one over the object distance plus one over the image distance is equal to one over the focal length. We can solve for the image distance. One over the image distance equals one over the focal length minus one over the object distance. Therefore, the image distance is equal to one over the focal length minus one over the object distance, all to the negative one power. Therefore, the image distance is equal to one over negative two minus one over five to the negative one power. The image distance for this particular diverging one. Please. Yes. Um, is Three. Yeah. I confused it with the previous one. Three. Please. What do we get? Negative one point two. Negative one point two centimeters. Okay. This confirms one of our image characteristics. Steven, which one? Mr. Manning? I'm Brian. Brian, oh, no way. That, I'm sorry, it was last year I had Steven. Sorry, Brian. Can you repeat the question? Sure. We have now confirmed one of our image characteristics. Which ones, please? Which one? Uh, I would say No, with our image distance equal to negative 1.2 centimeters, we have not confirmed that. Donald? Virtual. We know it's virtual because? Uh, cube is less than zero. What is less than zero? The uh, image distance. The image distance. We can figure out now the magnification. Magnification equals the negative of the image distance over the object distance, or negative of negative 1.2 divided by the object distance, which is 3 and not 5. The magnification is equal to, please. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. 0.40 is our magnification. This confirms two other image characteristics. Mahesh, what are uh, Magnification. I agree we've got the magnification, but that confirms two of our image oh, characteristics. Right. Um, it is upright. Because? Because the mag magnification is greater than zero. And it is reduced because? Uh, the absolute value of the magnification is less than one. Great. Now we need to do the ray diagram. We have our diverging lens. Let's see. 
Uh, what is the first step? Blackers. Um, finding where the image is. Ah, that would, that, unfortunately, no. Maybe. You draw a line down the middle? The first line for a lens is to bifurcate the lens by drawing a line down the very middle of the lens to see if I can do better this time. There it is, the line down the middle of the lens. Now we draw where the object is, which is three centimeters from the center of our lens, which is going to be located approximately right there. We have our image, our object height, excuse me, which is going to be located right there. The incident ray of our parallel ray, Kevin, goes where? Um, parallel to the uh, principal axis. Good, parallel to the principal axis. We draw our parallel ray pr parallel to the principal axis. Where does the refracted ray of the parallel ray go? Please, Bianca. Yeah. Um, through the focal? Through the focal point. Now, this is a diverging lens, which means it diverges the light away from the principal axis. So class, is the light going to go this way towards this focal point, or is it going to go this way away from the principal axis? away from the principal axis because it is a diverging lens. So notice, we are going to use the focal point which is closest to the object now. And it is going to diverge away from the principal axis. Next, the focal ray. The focal, the incident ray of the focal ray goes through the focal point. But now, just like with the converging lens, we need to switch focal points. It's going to go through the focal point on the opposite side from the object, and it never gets to that focal point because when it runs into the lens, it is bent away from the principal axis. In this particular case, that means it's going to be bent parallel to the principal axis because this is the reflected ray, I'm sorry, refracted ray of our focal ray. So it's going to be refracted like this, parallel to the principal axis. And lastly, the chief ray. How do I draw the chief ray, Julia? Remember, it goes right through the middle of the lens because it is the only undeflected ray, undeflected ray. So it just goes straight through the middle. Now, once we've done this, you can see that we have a small problem. Class, do any of the refracted rays intersect? Class, do they intersect? No. No. Why not? What type of image is this? It's a virtual image, which means, remember, our eyeball is over here we see the refracted rays. So just like for a convex mirror, uh, whenever there's a virtual image, you extend the ref refracted rays, in this case, on the other side of the, mirror, of the lens. So we're gonna extend this refracted ray this direction. Through the focal point. And we extend this refracted ray of the focal ray behind the lens as well. And you can see that they all intersect right here. And the chief ray, you actually don't have to extend because, again, it went over itself. So it already has a ray right there. So that is where our image is. And you can see it actually matches all of the image characteristics we had before. You can see the location of the image is approximately 1.2 centimeters on the same side as the object from the lens.